Hey everybody, Audiofile Barista here. Welcome to vlog 135. And in these vlogs, I talk about coffee, audio, and other things that keep me busy. And what is it that keeps me busy at this moment? Well, obviously my room is still a mess. And why is that? Well, let me tell you. You see, I am still trying to finish up the series about the small speakers, big sound in a small room. And when I'm doing that, I'm sitting here here of course that thing isn't in there but I'm sitting here in my chair and then I'm starting to look around see all my media over here and then I think well it is getting crowded there's piles of stuff on the floor over here records everywhere records over here see these over here so there's physical media everywhere and while i'm sitting here trying to finish up this series about uh, big sound in small rooms my mind starts wandering and thinking well i have to fix that so here's what i do instead of finishing up this series my mind starts to wander and i start to do other things so i ordered some stuff to get rid of all the physical media well not to get rid of it as throwing it away because there's no such thing as having too much physical media there is a thing that's called not enough space so I'm trying to reduce space and keep all my media so here's what I did I picked up a pack of these things these are little plastic covers and they will allow you to have your DVD in a nice small package and instead having all these piles, you'll just end up with a lot of DVDs in a very small package, which will allow me to keep all these and reduce space at the same time. So over here you can see all the empty DVD cases, because I had still a lot, a lot of DVDs and this is how it ended up now this is not where they will end up at the end this is just a temporary box that i put them in but over here you can see a lot of dvds this would have been a very big pile taking up a lot of space on this wall and now it's just these small packages that you have and it still allows me, so I need to find a way that I can uh, walk through them, just like you would with uh, vinyl, um, in order, if I want to watch one, here you can see, giving you a little bit of an insight into the kind of movies that I like. Now, some of these have been replaced by uh, Blu-rays, and those are upstairs that I'm trying to sell at the moment, but nobody is actually uh, reacting. And all this, I'm, I'm doing all this while I should be finishing up the, uh, the series about the big sound small room, but that's getting delayed again. Anyways, this is giving me a lot of space. Take you with me. So over here, all these shelves were filled up with DVDs. And now there is a lot of room. All these were filled up with CDs. These are all my classical CDs. Some other CDs, these are all in cardboard boxes or just have a different size to fit into a row like that. So these are all my special editions from all kind of CDs. And over there were also a lot of DVDs. So that is giving me space, but it's also giving me a mess for now because I have to rearrange stuff and think up what if I get space over here, what am I going to place there and what am I going to put in these boxes? Because not everything I want to have in here. Because some of this stuff 
one of the reasons you keep physical media is that you can look at it. Now, this of course is not the best way to look at it. This is a much better way. So over here I'm going to have all my animation. Here are my series, some Dexter, the bridge. Over here are all my DVDs that are about uh, music, you know, these kind of live performances from Stacks. This is a movie from a performance. Um, this live performance from a Dutch band. So there's a lot of things. Performance from the wonderful Tom Waits. So these two are probably going to be filled up with all my DVDs that are about music. Oh, over here there is more empty DVD cases. Over here you saw the ones that I just showed you upstairs. And all this, this whole pile is now reduced to just this what is in here. So that is a perfect way of storing your media, not throwing it away, that's not what I want. Some of the DVDs that I have are not even on Blu-ray, but this is a great way to change that. Now I also have a lot of CDs and some of them I have double, triple, sometimes even. And there's a lot of CDs that I have collected throughout the years that I may not be playing too often. So what did I do? I also picked up the same kind of sleeve, but now it's for CDs. Let me show you. So over here, I have a lot of CDs that no, are not um, CDs that I listen to often, something that you picked up somewhere, which is just a compilation of things over here, Deutsche Grammophon, promotion disc from 91. And this is also not going to be the final spot where they will end up. But over here I can put a lot of my CDs that I'm not using. And something like this is one that I have maybe two or three times. Because then I'm at a, a thrift store thinking, okay, and at home I find out, well, I already have that one. So these are a lot of CDs which take up a lot of space, but now that I put them in the, these sleeves, they don't take so much space, which gives me more room on this media wall for all the CDs that I'm actually using. But here's the point of this vlog. Every time that I'm doing a movie, I get distracted and I'm going to do other things. So, that's why I'm making this vlog, telling you about this, showing you this. And there's a few interesting things because when I'm busy with all this media, you have all these CDs and all these DVDs going through your hands. So you think, well, hey, I need to listen to that one again. And wow, oh, that's a great movie. I haven't watched it for a long time. So I get distracted and then I'm watching movies all night long instead of doing my review. But this is how I do it and sometimes it means it takes a little bit longer for a video to come out but it will come out eventually. So in a previous video I explained to you how do I keep track of all the CDs that I have because I don't want to end up with all my copies two or three times. That happened only because I did not have a system. So I told you some time ago the app Discogs, if you open it, now Discogs is a app for selling and um, buying music, CDs, LPs, stuff like that. And I have everything that I own, I put into this app. As you can see, over here it says two and a half thousand. That is, if I would sell all my CDs at the cheapest price that is offered on Discogs, my collection would be worth two and a half thousand. If I could manage to sell everything at the maximum price, my collection would be worth over 11,000, almost 12,000 euros. 
but this also gives you a way to look at what, uh, what do I have in my collection and what are offered at the highest price on the market. So let me show you some of those. Okay, so here we have the wonderful album of Ricky Lee Jones called Pop Pop. This is 180 gram records. There are two records in here. And if we have a look, it is in the app over here. And so these, the cheapest one on offer is now 85 euros. And the most expensive one, I don't know why, is 470 euros euros for this album i picked this up a long time ago and i think i paid 25 bucks for it and here's another amazing album from björk debut i bought this a long long time ago maybe 15 bucks i paid for it this is just before records become popular and also popular for the ones who are selling them and getting the prices way, way up. But over here, we have this one. Let's have a look. So this goes from 20 bucks to the highest offer is 294 euros. So over here, these two, some 600 euros. If I could sell them for that price, it's never going to happen, but the idea is very nice. Okay, let's pick up another one. So here we have another Björk album, Posts. Another wonderful cover. And as you can see over here, this should be the pink version. And yes, indeed, this is pink vinyl. Let's see what it does on the marketplace. So from 28 up until 186. I really have to find out who is one willing to pay 168, 86 euros for this pink version album. I believe I paid 20 bucks for it. New. So here we move on to a CD. This is a newly released, remastered Tori Amos. It has two discs in it, some bonus tracks and a very nice edition. I picked this up new also when they are on, were uh, on sale. I believe also some 20 bucks maybe. So let's see what is happening over here. And as you can see, it is 14 and the cheapest version and 117 at the most expensive for a CD box. Now I really have to find a way to sell these things for those prices. That would be awesome. Anyways, let's pick up two more. Now I am not a collector. I am not looking for stuff that will bring up money. I just like this album. I love the picture, the, the, the artwork from these things. I love cassettes and when she brought out these this complete set, of course I picked it up just because I like it, not because I thought it would make any money, but as you can see, it could be making you also a little bit of money, but the main reason I am using this app, this is Discogs, is to keep track of all the CDs and LPs that I have and the cassettes, because that is, if you ask me, the best way to do that, and it will give you wonderful pictures a wonderful layout layout and when I'm in a store and I'm seeing a cassette now from this one I know that I have it but from some other ones I may not know or remember so what I do is I pick them up in the thrift store and in the thrift store I go into my app check out if I already have them which is very easy to do because all you do is check the uh, barcode so let's see what these cassettes do on Discogs. Over here, post. Let's have a look. So seven bucks, that was about the price that I paid new when I picked up the whole collection because she brought her all her albums on a cassette and I picked up the whole bunch. And this one is now 33 at the most. And as you can see over here in February, Recently, one was sold for 16 bucks. Now, what about the other one? 
So 7 bucks again and 24 bucks and one was sold for 11 bucks 23 just recently. Um, so that's not too big a difference but as you can see even some cassettes can still be a bit more expensive. Now you see this is what's happening when I'm trying to do a video about big sound in a small room I get distracted and I get to do all these kind of things and you know what I'm okay with that because I love doing that I love playing around with all the stuff that I have that is why I bought it in the first place so in all this distraction I also rewatched Mad Max great movie I rewatched Apple Seed X Machina this is crazy good animation and I recently secondhand picked up this one, The Hunt. If you don't care about the controversy around this movie, this is a crazy good movie. I enjoyed it very much. If you have the stomach for it, if you like this kind of horror, comedy, crazy, over the top, I love it. If you don't, don't try this one. But if you are in for an experiment, make sure to pick one of these up or make sure to watch this one, The Hunt. Her performance is just out of this world. So let's finish up this vlog. It is a sunny day, it is Friday. Instead of another episode about big sound in a small room, you got a vlog about all the things that I'm currently doing. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one.